Can you hear me? He yeah. said, the police officer said, it's going to be a few minutes. Hey friends, before we get to the drama of the day, we'll take you around Jeff Bezos' wild and wacky world of Blue Origin. Today is family day and we're going to slap those stickers on. Here we are in a 650,000 square foot Cape Canaveral three-story structure where we have a crew capsule and rocket on display. They have this little shop filled with super great souvenirs and gear dedicated to all things, you guessed it, Blue Origin. They do have an online shop guys if you want to show your love for space. Okay, I'm ready to meet some space nerds and mad scientists you guys. We are now being taken to Launch Complex 36 which has been leased by Bo since 2015. Can you believe that 145 launches have thundered into space from this LC-36 site? This place saw its last launch in 2005 and Bezos has been itching to revive it. Blue Origin is a cosmic carnival of space exploration. Want to know what the coolest thing was? Filling out the clock for the future postcard that will be flown into space on Bo's New Shepard rocket, then returned to us stamped, flown in space. Here's the unexpected drama that unfolded which led to more drama later in the day. Can you hear me? He yeah. said, the police officer said, it's going to be a few minutes. He said, there's going to be like a thousand bikes. Oh. He said, it's the ride for law. I to have a better view, so he said, you can pull right up on the bridge. And he said, it's like three miles long. Oh. 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 A few moments later. So catching 1,000 bikes riding by was cool and all, but it delayed our return to Bo's building. We were next in line to get into the crew capsule when they decided it was time to shut it down. Well, this is going to be as much as we can show you guys. 